these are a group of worms called planarians. Uh, most of them are aquatic animals, live in the water. There's a small number, a couple hundred that live on land across the world. And they're different from earthworms and other kinds of worms because they really have, um, their anatomy is a bit different. They're flattened animals. They're called flatworms also. Um, their mouth and their anus are the same thing. They only have one opening to their digestive tract. Mucus covered kind of creatures like lots of worms. So that makes, makes them also creepy to some people. This particular group of planarians has been tested and shown to have a toxin called tetrodotoxin, a TTX, we shorten it as. It's found in a number of animals around the world, and it's a neurotoxin because it prevents neurons and certain muscle cells from working. And so this is the same toxin that people can get from eating puffer fish, which is a, considered a, a delicacy in Japan. Uh, if they're not prepared properly, they have it's a, a deadly toxin. Okay. So our worms have some of that in their bodies. We're not sure whether they're using it against their prey when they go to eat something or if they just use it as a defense so nobody else can eat them. That particular toxin, it doesn't come in through your skin. So by itself, just touching one wouldn't, shouldn't be a deadly thing. In my lab, though, everybody wears gloves when they handle them. Uh, we don't touch them that much. The toxin really needs to get into the circulatory system. So a person could touch a worm and then touch their eye or something, and that could be dangerous. But in general, they're not a um, not an animal that should be feared that much, but they just should be respected. They can be cut into a number of pieces, and each of the pieces will regenerate all the missing parts. So you can cut wor one worm into three, and all three pieces will become a new worm. Uh, yeah, trying to eliminate them though, that's not the way to do it by cutting them up. Uh, they are sensitive to vinegar, boiling water, drying out. Just ziplocking them in a, in a Ziploc bag and putting them in the sun will take care of them. There's one, there are about five species in the U.S. that have invaded. One of the species is right there in Chicago and it is in gardens. It's about uh, two to three inches long, kind of a tan color with a dark stripe down the middle of its back. So all of them are from some place in Eastern Asia. Um, the one that lives near Chicago, uh, we don't really know exactly where its home range would be, but we would expect some place in Central China or Korea maybe might be its original home range. We don't know for sure where it is yet. But right now it's completely across North America. So it goes from the East Coast all the way to California. Well, we could put it this way. In places where there are lots of native earthworms, if these planarians got to high numbers, they could reduce the numbers of native earthworms. And that could hurt our soils. It could um, hurt some of the other larger animals that eat earthworms. We don't think of it as a, this one particular species as an ecological catastrophe right now, but their, their impacts could be significant. Like I said, though, most of the uh, earthworms that are here are already not native species and they're probably having a pretty negative impact as it is and so we're not sure if these planarians would uh, balance that out well the, the safest thing is not to touch them with your hands that would be the safest thing but um, eliminating them is what we generally recommend put them into a ziploc plastic bag and toss them away that should get them out of your backyard. You probably have a lot more in everybody's backyard than they expect and all the city parks and botanical gardens probably have plenty of them already. Okay, so the one that's in the northern part of the U.S. is not a big worm. It's only about three inches long. The ones that live in this across the southern U.S., those guys get to more than a foot. So they can eat earthworms that are 15, 20 times larger than themselves. And not many predators on Earth can do that, can feed on things that are much bigger than themselves.